We knew the Irish missed Everett Golson in 2013, but I don't think we realized how much they missed him until Saturday. Golson's return to game action for the Fighting Irish realistically could not have gone any smoother. Golson was poised and polished and noticeably improved from the last time we saw him. His first touchdown pass, a 75-yard bomb to Will Fuller, the longest pass of Everett's career. But it's what he did with his feet that was even more impressive. When there was nothing to be had in the passing game, Golson took off. He ran the ball a dozen times Saturday, three of them for touchdowns. After the game, he thanked the Irish faithful for supporting him through his time away. That was big, um, and that just you know goes back to you know the community we got here, uh, you know being forgiven and you know supporting me through you know through it all, and uh, it was a good feeling for me. Everett Golson was electric. He uh, kept his eyes downfield. Um, you know, knew when to run, knew when to throw it. Uh, and, you know, those are things that, you know, we really talked about. We didn't want uh, to overcoach him and that we were going to allow him today to get outside the pocket and be a football player. And Brian Kelly singled out senior linebacker Joe Schmidt today as being the team's best defensive player during the game against Rice. Schmidt led the team with eight tackles. Another defender who stood out was cornerback Cody Riggs, not just for his defense, but also his impact in the return game. Riggs ripped off not one but two punt returns of 24 yards or more yesterday, helping the Irish nearly eclipse their entire return yardage from all of last season in one afternoon. Yeah, first thing I did when I got here, I wanted to go to the ground. Like, I'm going to return punts. And uh, he said, okay, I wanted to return about four. This never got the opportunity. Um, and so he, he gave me a chance and um, I made the most of it. We've got guys back there that are fearless, that will catch the football and stick their foot in the ground and get north and south. And that is absolutely crucial. And we have guys that are committed to covering people up. So um, we got the want to and the resolve to do it, and we got to continue to do it. Up next for Notre Dame, 